Controversial drug use in nursing homes elicits the Senator's call for investigation, and feds release the next $2.5 billion and $1.5 million in 95 masks to nursing homes. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Democratic senators from the Special Committee on Aging are requesting a probe into the use of hydroxychloroquine to treat COVID-19 nursing home patients. The request comes after a Pennsylvania veterans nursing home was found to have given hydroxychloroquine to residents in April. More than 40 residents have died following the move. Other state inspection reports revealed that Texas nursing home residents were also given the drug without authorization or consent from them or their family members, the senators wrote in letters sent to the leaders of the FDA, HHS, and CMS. On March 28th, the FDA issued an emergency use authorization for hydroxychloroquine as an off-label treatment for COVID-19 in certain hospitalized patients. The drug was originally approved to treat malaria and autoimmune diseases. On June 15th, the FDA revoked the authorization, citing weak evidence supporting its effectiveness, as well as heart risks that outweigh any apparent benefits. Senators Bob Casey, Ron Wyden, and Elizabeth Warren noted, quote, numerous reports of nursing homes using the drug to treat residents with known COVID-19. In Pennsylvania, for example, inspectors said a nursing home treated 205 residents with the drug with no approval from the state officials and after the FDA had issued warnings against its non-hospital settings. In, other, in another case, an operator reportedly used hydroxychloroquine as part of a preventative drug cocktail without consent according to family and residents. The senators asked the agencies to open an investigation and are also requesting information from the CDC and HHS on how they've monitored hydroxychloroquine's use in those settings during the pandemic. The senators set a September 10th deadline for the agencies to respond to their questions. The federal government is shipping 1.5 million N95 respirators from the national stockpile to nursing homes reporting supply shortages. In addition, the first $2.5 billion of a previously announced $5 billion in funds dedicated to nursing homes have been distributed to facilities as well. The funds can be applied to any COVID-19 expenses, including testing, PPE, staffing, or training. Plans for the critical N95 masks were first announced by the Rear Admiral of the Supply Chain Task Force led for the Department of Health and Human Services. The masks will be given to more than 3,300 U.S. nursing homes that were reported that they were running low on supplies through the National Healthcare Safety Network. The number of respirators distributed to each nursing home is being based on the number of medical staff employed at the facility. The masks have been produced by O&M Halyard and certified by the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, according to HHS. HHS noted the respirators are meant to supplement existing supplies for PPE, and each facility will receive a seven-day supply meant to support an entire shift before being discarded. The shipments began last Friday. They've been able to work with domestic suppliers of N95 such as 3M, Honeywell, Owens & Minor, and Draeger. Increased domestic production has went from about 30 million masks per month pre-COVID to 100 million masks per month today. The United States expects to be producing 160 million masks per month by the fall. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.